Archer, where is Hunbald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Humboldt loved you like family, and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oath and ale work better than your prayers and saints. What is it, a fight? <laughs> My name is not... Remember the days we... <laughs> Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... 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 The view. Let's have a drink, to the memory of your father. Here we go, sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorf of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A white old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hang on. Hush. Stay calm. <laughs> That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Unvold, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. 
Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. ...then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. We had a deal, Hunwald. My aid for an oath. If you want to stake your claim here, then I have no reason to lend you my sword. I'm sorry. My will falters from time to time. After some rest, my senses will return. Lie down, love. You'll be fine. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it.
For my brother! Die! Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. Huh. I suspect you know better than most. What's that? Continue. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you, but little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herafriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another.
I'm Norse, actually. Something you might learn by asking. Well met, Grim. Glad to have you along. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubt in that. That's Wolves. Wolves everywhere. And not a bear in sight. like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! My people are fleeing! They must get to safety! Someone waited until you were away to set your world aflame. God's here, I'll Egypt. send them straight to hell! Men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Elfgard. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Oh. 
Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Southgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. <laughs> King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. So a vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. 
Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Elfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three and has already proven himself. Herapred it will be. He knows what it means to lead, and he'll carry on with no trouble. Lord God, through his infinite grace and mystery, has spoken, and he has spoken with a ringing voice. The Bishop Herathrith shall be Lincolnshire's elderman. Thank you, one and all. God's blessing go with you. Psalm 78, 72. David shepherded his flock by the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skill of his hands. So I shall lead with heart and hand as one. God bless you all. Go easy on the mead, Lord. It's a long ride to Grimsby. I'm only sniffing it. I seem to have lost my thirst. This city, with these people, is not where you belong, Humboldt. You're a Dane at heart. Go to Swanborough and live well. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Eivor. We'll speak again soon. I have an alliance to secure. I'm not sure 
Eivor, you have gifted me a great honor, one I hope I can repay. One you must repay, as our tradition demands. Name your need. I want your holy word that Lincolnshire will be a friend to the Raven Clan through the thickest and darkest of troubles. Yes, of course. Have no doubt we are friends, you and I, from this moment forward. Only call, and I shall come. Thank you, Bishop. Take care of your sheep. And shear that one from time to time, for his own good.